Hi friends, today I'm going to be reading chapter 2 of Cam Jansen, The Mystery of the Stolen Diamonds. This is the first Cam Jansen book, but there's lots of other books. Chapter 2. The man kept running and caused a great commotion. He was bumping into dozens of people. He left a path of angry shoppers from Parker's jewelry store halfway through the shopping mall. Come back here, young man, one woman shouted, and pick up all my packages. Another woman dropped a bag filled with groceries. Eggs broke. Tomatoes and cucumbers were rolling in all directions. If he's trying to get away, Cam asked, why didn't he run out of one of the exits? What? Eric wasn't really listening. Howie was still crying, and Eric was trying to calm him. Just then, a young couple out of the jewelry came out of the jewelry store. Look, Cam said. They were inside when the alarm went off. A small crowd had gathered. Cam was still standing on the bench. From there, she had a good view of the entrance to Parker's. The couple walked toward the nearest exit. The man was wearing a dark suit. He was tall, and so was the woman with him. She was holding what looked like a baby wrapped in a pink blanket. There, there, baby, the woman was saying. Don't cry. It's all over now. Don't cry. The man was holding a very large pink and blue baby rattle. He was urging the woman to walk faster. Cam looked straight at them as they walked past and said, Click. Then Eric saw two older women coming out of the store. Look, he said, pointing. They were in there too when the alarm went off. The women were upset. One was clutching her heart. The other was leaning forward and holding a cane with both hands. She walked as if the cane were the only thing keeping her up. The women sat down on the bench nearest Cam and Eric. Oh my, the woman holding her heart said. I never thought I'd live through that. The other woman just sighed. Cam watched the entrance to Parker's a while longer. No one else left the store. Then she saw someone inside shut the door and hang a sign in the window. The sign said, sorry, we're closed. I wonder what happened, Cam said as she got down from the bench. Eric rocked Howie in his arms. I don't know, but I wish they'd shut off that alarm. It's scaring Howie. I'll have to feed him if he doesn't stop crying. Eric held Howie against his shoulder. Howie stopped crying, but just for a minute. A loud police car siren sounded. It startled Howie, and he began to cry again. Quick, Cam, get me his bottle. It's in the insulated bag. Cam opened the bag and looked inside. Boy, he sure needs a lot of stuff. She gave the bottle to Eric. Are you sure you know how to feed him? It's easy, watch. Eric cradled Howie in one arm. With his free hand, he fed him the bottle. Howie was quiet. It works, Cam said. I guess he can't cry and drink at the same time. The siren got louder and louder. They must have called the police, Cam said. She watched as the police car turned into the mall parking lot and slowed down. It stopped in front of Parker's jewelry store. Both front doors of the car opened. Two policemen got out and went inside Parker's. A moment later, the alarm over the store stopped ringing. They better hurry, Cam said or they won't catch the man who ran out. The police did hurry. In a very short time, they came out of Parker's. They went over to the people standing just outside the store. Please, we need your cooperation, one of the policemen said. Did, you, did any of you see a man run from here? Everyone started yelling at once. Yes, we saw him. He was tall, heavy. No, no, he was short, short and thin. He had a mustache. He was wearing an ugly green tie. Ugly? I liked that tie. I have the same one at home. The policeman held up his hand for quiet. Did any of you see which way he went? I did, one woman called out. He almost knocked me down. She put her hands on her hips and waited to make sure everyone was listening. He went that way. She pointed towards the center of the mall. One policeman ran to the center of the mall. The other reached into the car. He pulled out a police phone and spoke into it. Robbery reported at Parker's Jewelry Store, Hamilton Shopping Mall. Suspect wearing dark suit and green tie was last seen running towards Stage Street exit. Please send car to Stage and Fulton to help apprehend. 10-4 Central. 
He reached into the car and replaced the phone. Then he ran towards the center of the mall. In the next video, I'll read chapter three. Bye friends.